training involved with the IICRC covers everything from identifying the mold issues to the proper containment before the removal is done to protecting the home during the removal process from cross-contamination. Well, the biggest risk is cross-contamination. If you have a mold issue in, say, one room, so if you don't put the proper parameters in, environmental controls, then you take that problem from that section and you spread it throughout the rest of the home. Cleaning with bleach is the oldest myth surrounding mold. Bleach does just what it does. It, it bleaches color and hides things. So bleach is an antibacterial cleaner. Mold is made of, yes, a bacteria and a microorganism. Uh, a mold spore contains a hyphae and a melanin compound. By taking bleach and wiping a substrate that has mold, you're, you're getting rid of its color, its melanin compound. So the problem with that is the hyphae that's, that's alive and breathing. Over time, that hyphae regenerates and produces another melanin compound with color. You've probably heard people say before, well, you know, I keep bleaching this spot, but it keeps coming back, and that's why. Because in order to remove it permanently, you need to get in behind the, the substrate and remove the source. Not all mold cases require extreme removal, and if they don't, then we just, you know, explain to the homeowner how they can do it without spending thousands of dollars. They don't all need professional remediation, but they all need somebody to explain to them the difference. Higher elevations of certain types of mold, stachybotrys being the worst out there, can affect people with, you know, immune deficiencies, infants with underdeveloped lungs, or people with asthma, allergies, stuff like that especially are affected. Uh, most, most side effects to almost every type of mold is type 1 hay fever. You know, then we go and fix it and they say, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you, you know, I can breathe again.